This morning I'm going to show you a little bit about my banker plant research. It's for my graduate degree and it basically focuses on greenhouse biological control and that is using a good pest or a good pathogen or a good parasitoid to control a bad guy um, like aphids. And for aphids we use um, a lot of different places can use banker plants. And so this is a winter wheat plant and it's actually infested doesn't look so great right now, but it's very effective. It's actually infested with bird cherry oat aphids, which is a cereal grain. So it doesn't affect ornamental plants at all, but it does provide an alternative host for the parasitoid that I'm using called Aphidius colmeni. So basically what the parasitoid does is it comes in little mummies in here. This is a carrier, it's buckwheat, and you put these guys out next to your banker plants with your um, bird cherry oat aphids. It parasitizes the aphids and then you're able to put them in the greenhouse to control green peach aphid or cotton melon aphid, two of the most common greenhouse pests in ornamental operations. So it's a very effective way to do biological control, to have a little bit of a greener control method for aphids. It's used a lot in Canada, it's used a lot in the Northeast, and so this is kind of a new thing for us to introduce them to southwestern greenhouses for pest control. So the banker plant method can be used in a big greenhouse and a small greenhouse. It would just be a matter of adding additional banker plants. Some of the protocols suggest just one plant per 5,000 square feet. Of course, you want to add a plant as you go along in your production cycle. So at week one, you would start with one banker plant per area and add it later, um, add additional plants later. So basically, it's a way for growers to promote some green ways of producing crops without as many pesticides. Because the aphids we're talking about are very resistant to insecticides, sometimes you have to spray multiple times. The banker plant's very effective and that there's no resistance to a parasitoid stinging an aphid. So the parasitoid stings the aphid, lays an egg inside the aphid. That egg um, grows and becomes a larva and consumes the aphid from the inside out. So basically what you're purchasing from some of these companies are what are termed mummies and that's the pupa of the parasitoid. And so these mummies um, form on the plant and then an adult um, wasp emerges from that mummy and goes to control those aphids again. So again, the beauty of the banker plant is you have a long-term control of these aphids because the parasitoid only lives a couple of days. So by using the banker plant, if you don't have any aphids, you still have those parasitoids present for when you do have a small occurrence of them, and it's very effective. If you want more information about banker plants and greenhouse and interior escapes, we do have a fact sheet through the OSU Print On Demand system. It's fact sheet number 7334. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.